Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well, we're going to continue on with this little one page scrolling site build. And we've been putting these various sections in with animations and effects. Today we're going to actually build a pricing table section. And there we are right here. Divi just keeps getting better and better. This is so easy to do. So let's get started. First thing I want to do is enable my visual builder. And once enabled, let's go down to where we want to work. And what I'll do is I'll simply delete this section and we'll start from scratch. That's a blue tab for a section. I'm simply going to delete that. And let's add a new section here. little blue button for a section. I'm going to use a regular section. Inside I'm going to put a single column and a single row. And I want to use the pricing table modules today. Divi comes as standard with all these light grey modules here. There we go, pricing tables. Okay, and as you see it's put a couple in there for us. I'm going to delete the second one and we'll just use the first one we'll style it to how we want it and then we'll duplicate it now before I actually start styling this thing let's put a background in for our section here we've been using these sort of blues and purples so I continue with that sort of theme I'm going to go into the section give it a background and I'll simply give it that purple color okay now let's go into our pricing table and here's our first table here we're going to go inside and let's start now we'll give it a title and this is for hosting so I'm going to say bronze bronze package or whatever it is you want to put in there and it's hosting currency is fine it's got that little currency icon there if you don't want that just delete that and you can put an actual currency beside the price if you want a sort of bigger version of it like that but I'm happy with that little one right there so I'll leave that in there frequency we'll say monthly as you can see that's put that in there price let's say $25 to start with and button sign up or learn more or whatever you want we're going to direct this to the contact form when we put that one in okay and here we've got our features now if it's got a plus by it it's going to be in bold like that if it's got a minus by it it'll be faded like that and you can just change one from the other by changing the plus or the minus and we'll do that with the other ones when we build them so let's say and what I'll do is put in all the features and exclude the ones that are not included with this particular package And we'll give them tech support. And there we go. As you can see, the last two, just line that one up, are not included there. They're sort of grayed out. Okay. If we move on to the link, button link, we're going to direct them to our contact form when we build it. We haven't built it yet, but to make the button show up, you need to put something in there. We'll just put a hashtag same window is fine if you want to link the whole module somewhere if you've got a packages page or whatever put the link in here and we can give it a background let's give it a gradient I'll continue with the color scheme that we've been kind of using I'm gonna put black on the bottom and we'll put the purple color we've been using on the top great let's go over to our design now layout wise we don't want to make this featured when you make it featured it'll lift it up a little bit um, I'll show you that with the middle one when we put it in there bullet points these are over here 
I'm going to make those the blue color we've been using. Text, I'll leave that as it is because that's all of the text. If you want to put it in the middle, you can do, but I'm actually happy because it's a bullet point list to have mine left aligned there. So I'm going to leave mine just as it is. Okay, here's our title text up here. Now the background color, I'll make that the blue color we've been using. Title, I might make that semi-bold. And as with all Divi text, you've got a huge amount of fonts that you can choose from here. There's literally hundreds. And just hover over and you can see an example of what that font's going to be. I'll use the default today. And I think semi bold is fine. I'm going to leave that just as it is. Let's move on down. I've got the body text. I'm going to make that white. Now, when I've done that, you can see it sort of made all this the same here. So I've got to get rid of a space there. Let's go back to our text here. Seems like I've got a space in here that I don't need. There we go. And like I say, it's including the ones or they're not grayed out anymore. We can take care of that in a moment. So we're in the body text. I don't want to change anything else. Subtitle text. I think I'll make that bold and capitalize it. Again, I'm going to leave the color white. Price and text right here. Now you can give it a completely different background color if you want to. I'm happy with mine to just show that gradient through there. Price text color itself. That and again, I think I'll make that semi bold. There we go, that stands out nicely. Currency and frequency, there's the currency and frequency. Again, gonna keep it very simple, gonna make it white, stands out nicely against that background. Now, here's the excluded item text that I was telling you about the ones with the minus. I'm going to leave that white, but I'm going to take the opacity. So I'm going to make it white. I'm going to go in there. I'm going to take it down. So it's kind of faded out. So it's obvious that it's not included in this package. Great. So when we're almost done with this, let's go on down the button. The reason mine's purple and blue, that's the way I've got it set up in my customizer. You can go in and customize it, use custom styles and make it whatever colors you want to. Text color is fine. I will capitalize that though. Let's make that uppercase. And I don't want to show the button icon. It's off. It says it's no, but it's showing it. So just flip it to yes and then back to no. And there we go. It's disappeared. That's fine. And if you do want to show one, there's all kind of icons to choose from from the elegant themes icon list. Don't want any box shadow or anything. Spacing wise, I'm going to leave it just like it is. I will put a border around this thing. Let's give it a slightly curved corner, so I'll give it five picks on the corners. And let's give it a border so it stands out. Okay, three picks. It's fine. Make sure it's absolute white. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. And we'll just add a little bit, bit of box shadow, lift it off the page. Okay, so there's our first one. I think we're happy with the way everything looks there. So let's save this. We'll go back into the main module, price table settings, and we'll clone this. So I'm going to have two more. So I'm just going to hit it twice. We'll go on to the second one. And we'll call this one silver. And price wise, I think 45 a month. And We'll include the solid state dry with that. So just change that minus to a, just change that minus to a plus. As you can see, it makes it bold again. Okay, and this one I think we will make featured. So if we go to our design up the top here, layout, 
make this table featured. As you can see, it pulls it up a bit there. Let's just roll this up. Makes it stand out a little bit from the others. Obviously, you can change backgrounds, do whatever you want here if you want to make it stand out more. But I think that's going to work for me today. Let's save this one. And let's go into our third one. And we'll have a gold package. And we'll make this $65. And we'll include everything, the tech support also. So we'll change this one to a plus. And the same with 24-7 support. There we go. As you can see, they're all bold now. OK. So how easy was that? That's our pricing tables. And we'll just give it a little title. As we've done before, we've got our title saved in the library with a little scroll effect. If you want to learn how to do that, watch the first video. I'll put the link below here. So to add that, I'm simply going to go down, add a new row, the little green button. Add from library. I want a white title because we've got a colored background. And there it is right there. For anybody that doesn't want to watch that video, all that is is a text module. Underneath we've got a divider with a little scroll effect so the divider grows as it scrolls up the page. And we've given it a bit of negative margin to pull it up closer to the text there. Okay, well I want to put this up the top so I'm going to grab it. Put it up the top. Obviously change the name. And let's change the size of that underline there so it's not overlapping too much. Here's the divider. I'm going to go to design sizing. And we'll take the width down slightly. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, well, I think that's our little hosting section there. Let's save our changes, make sure everything's going to work on the front end. Before I do that, we'll just add a little animation to this so it's sort of zooms in or fades in so I'm going to go into the row I'm going to go to design I'm going to go down to animation at the bottom and let's have it zoom in click on one of these and it'll give you the example that's fine the other one that I'd probably use on this would just be a regular fade I think that zooms fine there it's going to get people's attention so let's save this and now let's save our page changes We'll exit the Visual Builder. And let's go on down and check out our little section here. There we go, there's that little zoom effect. And there's our hosting section. Pretty easy to read, straightforward, really easy to do. And like I say, our little buttons there are going to take them to our contact form for anybody who wants to inquire about hosting. So there you go guys, that's how to build a pricing section with pricing tables. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, comment, ring the bell, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.